Hi, my name is Mark White. I am talking to you today on behalf of Imagine Effects, and we are going to talk about masking in Photoshop. I'm going to go right back to basics and teach you exactly what a layer mask is, in case you didn't know. And then we're basically just going to go through everything that a mask can do, all the different types of masks, and hopefully cover everything. So, without further ado, let's create a layer. Now, the first thing to remember with layer masks is that they are dependent on the layer. As you can see here, we have our layer palette. This is our layer here, layer 12, as you can see there. And if you click this icon here, you will see add layer mask. Now you can see there is a white layer thumbnail that has added itself to the layer thumbnail. Now we've got black and white in our swatches down the bottom here. Um, just as an, as an aside, a nice little shortcut if you press X, it will swap around. Um, and then let's make a selection with the rectangular marquee. Okay, that's dead in the center. Now if I fill with the black here, you will see the black come out on the layer mask. Now what I've done here is I've hidden the center of this layer and I've masked it out with my selection by filling it in black. Anything black on the layer mask will be hidden. Anything white will not be. And by process of elimination, I'm sure you can I'm sure you can guess. Anything grey on the layer mask will only be partially visible. Okay. So that's the basics of how you can show or hide parts of your layer. As you can see I've been using the rectangular marquee for, for all of these. You can use pretty much any selection tool you like to show or hide parts of your your layer. A uh, popular one for artists is the pen tool. So let's just do a quick silhouette here. Just drawing a cartoon of a dog there. Um, now if you command and click on the work path here, it's control and click on a on a Windows computer. You can select the pixels that you've just drawn, go back to layers, make sure that you've selected the layer mask and fill with black. It really is that simple. Um, and of course brushes. Brushes work with just about everything in Photoshop um, and the layer masks are no different. course you can mask things in and and out and this little icon here the lock as you can probably guess you click on the lock and it unlocks the mask from the layer Click on the layer, you can move the layer without the mask. Click on the mask, you can do vice versa. And it's also important to remember when you're when you're drawing on a, a mask with a brush. There we go. The opacity comes out. Okay, so that's the that's the bare bones of it, really. Um, and here's one I made earlier. Um, now, next, what we're going to talk about are clipping masks. So I drew this um, 
I drew this background with a brush, regular brush, um, at an angle, as you can see. Um, and I masked on an illustration using the pen tool. Uh, and I did it in this kind of, it was, it was this kind of blue, this kind of regular sky blue. Um, but I wanted to go for greenier blue. Now what you can do with a layer, let's just create another layer so I can, I can show you. Uh, let's go for, let's go for green this time, why not? Um, so, I filled in green. I filled the entire canvas in green. What I can do is I can stick all these pixels of this layer to all the pixels of this layer. And remember, it won't stick to the pixels that have been masked out. All I have to do is Alt and click. And that's all it takes. That's a clipping mask. The other thing you can do, of course, is um, add clipping mask in that there you can see because that is release clipping mask. And now if I just resize this, you'll be able to see. As you can see, the layer is changing here and here. Different parts of the layer are visible at the different parts of the layer underneath. So this is a great thing to just play around with and just get the hang of really. Um, it's not too difficult, but it does it certainly saves you a lot of time because it means that you can you can add textures specifically to specific layers um, and you don't have to cut out everything. You can just simply alt click. And you can set different plan modes or whatever you like. So that is the clipping mask. And we have this whole this whole illustration I did earlier that you can see in, in the magazine. Uh, but what I'm going to show you now is a vector mask. And a vector mask cannot be applied to a layer on its own, it has to be applied to a layer with a mask. So simply click again the bottom here, add a mask button, and this is a vector mask. If you ever see three little thumbnails next to each other in the layers palette, then you know this one is your regular layer, one in the middle is your layer mask, and the one on the right is your vector mask. Now if we go back to what we were looking at earlier with the pen tool you will remember that anything that you draw with the pen tool can be added to a mask. Well anything you draw with a pen tool can also be added to a vector mask. As you can see I'm simply drawing parts of the layer are becoming more clear. If I just move this along, sorry, you'll be able to see that it is exactly up to the up to the pen the pen layer. There we go. And as you can see here, a vector mask doesn't rely on black and white, it simply only relies on, on the white. Um, all that you draw with a pen tool will become visible on the vector mask layer. So you can draw shapes. As you can see, I'm drawing a path and it's simply cutting across to complete the path. So it's a good idea to always complete your own paths with the with the vector mask tool. Otherwise, Photoshop will simply guess, guess the end of it. Um, you can see you can create nice little shapes and what have you to your, your layer mask. There we go. Now 
Now, a vector mask isn't actually one of the more popular um, popular types of mask, shall we say, in Photoshop, because really anything you want to you want to add, you don't actually have to use a vector mask. Say you wanted to add, you wanted to edit further. Well, you can select these two layers. You can group, Control G, and you can add a mask here. You can group just a single layer, by the way, which is very useful because it means you can have, you know, whole collections of layers with masks. And there you have it, yeah, like that. Now, if I want to edit my layer a little further, edit my group, sorry, a little further, I can do so. Just do this again so you can see it. What I'm doing is I'm making a pen outline around my illustration. Here we go. Select mask. Select the inverse of that. And let's fill that in black. There we go. So now we have a mask on a group. And all I have to do if I want to edit a completely new mask, a further mask, let's group that again. And now I can refine that even further if I want to. So now you see we have three different levels of mask. You can build up as much as you like. Photoshop doesn't doesn't mind. It allows you to. So now if I just ungroup this and I will ungroup this again and we'll go back to where we were. I'm just going to finish up by telling you a few nifty little shortcuts for your, your masks. Um, and these can vary between Windows and Mac. Um, so I'll cover I'll cover each. If you control and click on your mask layer, that selects all the pixels. All the visible pixels on the layer, I should add. So now if I fill, there we go. That's all the visible pixels from the mask. If I shift and click on the layer mask I will hide that if I alt and click on the layer mask I will only view my layer mask in black and white now if I were to add more to it. Uh, I'll click that again. There you go. Anything that you draw still comes out. And last but not least, if I right click on the layer mask, you can see you know, I can select a mask. That's similar to the refine edge tool. Show you that quickly. So yeah, you can refine your your edge that you've you've masked. That can be useful, particularly with uh, selections of photographs. What I really want to show you is that if you right click, apply layer mask, you can now see that this is a layer in its own right. And that's pretty much it. That's everything for masking. Um, 
hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to check out the tutorial in the magazine. And thanks for watching.